Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll learn about how to make the animated user interface using LabVIEW for the DICE application. As you can see in the background, we have got six images for different DICE outputs that is from ranging from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. <coughs> now we're going to build an application in which whenever we press a roll, we should be able to get the random value from the dice. So for that, we'll use the ring control in which we'll be able to use the images. So I'll add the dice output 1 and the first value. And if you uh, let me rearrange, and then if I click over there, I'll see that I've got one new one value so far. So I have to add another value. So to do that, uh, first of all, I'll drag all the other values as well, so that it will be much more easier for me to arrange them. So I'll add number two, add item after three, and continue for the rest of the images. Yeah. Once it is done, as you can see, we have got now six images from index 0 to 5. So uh, our user interface is complete. Uh, to make it much more better, what we are going to do is we are going to, as you can see, the value is 1E U16. Okay. So we are going to hide the increment decrement so that it will be much more easier to visible and we'll hide the level as well. Once our user interface is complete, now we have to work on the block diagram. So we'll now start coding. So I'll change the control into the indicator. And since uh, we're going to roll the dice every time we'll press the roll button, we'll need the while loop with event structure. Now we'll need a roll button. I'll add the boolean button that will read a roll. Now I just like to configure the event structure to uh, this case will be configured to roll button. Now I need the random value ranging from 0 to 5 to select this specific value. But uh, since uh, the rolling action, to simulate the rolling action, what I'll do is I'll roll that for 10 times before I'll get my output. So the last value will be the one uh, that will be ready. Okay. So we need the value from zero to five. We'll use the random number vi from the numeric palette. And then since we want the value between zero to five, I'm going to multiply that by five. and then uh, round uh, towards the nearest value. Now our loopy uh, code is complete. So we do also need to configure for the extra button. So we'll add one extra extra button now. So 
So add another event case for this top. And create consent true over there to stop the application. Now if we run, we will and press roll. We'll get different values, but at the moment we are not actually seeing uh, the simulation of rolling, but we are only seeing the final value. So what we have to do is we have to slow down the speed of the for loop. To do that, we'll add the add await for millisecond vi. Now, if I run it, I should be able to see the rolling of the dice, and we'll get the eventual final value. So this is how we can animate our user interface using LabVIEW. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel for future LabVIEW videos. Thank you very much.